Hi, I'm Lindsay Sterling. I'm a chef who asks immigrants I meet in my everyday life for cooking lessons. Recently, I met Isabella from Poland at the farmer's market, and she invited me over to her house to learn from her mother and her and her daughter how they make Polish pierogies. What are you guys talking about? I don't know. She's trying to find out uh, how the much texture of the of the dough. Mm -hmm. You want the dough rough and loose. It almost flows like lava out of the mixing bowl onto the floured cutting board. And it really is sticky. You'll notice her hands are full of it and um, you, you kind of get in a messy situation, but you just use the flour to keep it from sticking on the cutting board and you can um, use a knife to see how it's, see how it's mm -hmm. sticking there. That's all right. You just keep going, um, use a little bit of flour. In the end, you want your dough to be slightly tacky so that it sticks to itself when we're making the pierogies. So um, add enough flour so that you can maneuver the dough. Um, use a knife to scrape off any chunks that stick to the cutting board and just keep working it. She needed it for about 15 minutes um, and it gets smoother and smoother to the point where it's like a baby's bottom. It's, it's, it's uniform and smooth. And then you... Um, Rip off chunks like about the size of a, a baseball or a little bit smaller than that like a hard ball and roll it into a snake shape Cut it across so you have these little nuggets and then she's using a little bit of flour on each side and just presses it down So she starts to be able to form a disc shape um, That she will continue on with the rolling pin to get even flatter when you're filling it, you have this dough that's that's going to stick to itself unless you get some of the filling around the edges. So you really try to keep the edges clean. And if your filling does squirm over to the edge, you just take a little bit of flour on your finger and pat it back. And now, um, when you put the two sides of the dough together, they just stick together if you've done your dough right. So you don't have to use um, any water or egg yolk to close it. The dough s sticks to itself if you um, just press it together. And then you, once you seal the filling inside, then you do this decorative pinch um, repeatedly across the outside and it makes a really pretty shape. Now this does take some time, so what you want to do is get together a group of friends or family members and make a day of it. Hang out, make, make these lovely pierogies and talk and laugh. And it's really a rejuvenating experience, especially because you end up with these to eat afterwards. So, you psyched? You think you can do it? Find the recipe at immigrantkitchens.com.